Hello and welcome to Pagati TV. I'm your host, uh, Kayan Dubane, and as usual, I have Mtse Panaye, uh, Mtse Pon Soling, our resident uh, analyst. Um, the APSA Premiership is in full swing uh, this uh, coming weekend, uh, with no less than seven games uh, to take place. Uh, but before we talk about that, um, Tsevana, let's talk about the MTN8, um, Highlands Park and uh, Supersport are true to the final of the MTN8. Your thoughts on, 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 on them, on their games? Uh, sure, Baki, and uh, thanks for coming uh, to the show once again. Um, I mean, we, we saw history being made, you know, in the MTN8, you know, uh, Highlands Park, uh, you know, finally making, you know, uh, the final of a, you know, cup competition in Premier Soccer League after such a long time. But uh, it's history in its own and, you know, uh, you know, best of luck for them going to a final. And again, uh, you know, they won the match on penalties, you know, during uh, against the Polokwan City, uh, which was a very t difficult match, as I called it before. I said that Polokwan City are going to find it very difficult to overcome, you know, Highlands Park in their home turf. And again, the upper match, it has to be, you know, uh, Super Sport and Sundowns. Uh, I, I predict that Sundowns will win, but unfortunately, on the day, you know, Super Sport were on top of their game. Uh, you know, uh, I saw once again Tamsan Gabuza, you know, creating, you know, those two goals. Uh, the first one for, for uh, Tewo Homogwena and the second one for Jimmy Weber. It was, you know, it was, it was, it was not expected actually, you know, for, from my side, having said that I predicted that Sundowns will win and with the fact that they had an advantage of their away goal coming from the second league. But yeah, well done to uh, both Super Sport United and Highlands Park for going through to the finals, uh, you know, of the MTN8. Talk about the uh, Super Sport team, um, if we can uh, go back now to our. Um, preview and talk about the, this coming weekend's game. Super Sport, they uh, on the high, as you said, uh, they just beat Sundowns 2-0 uh, in the MT8, but they are facing a tricky side in Pulukwane City on Saturday afternoon. Um, Pulukwane City who will be looking as well to, 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 to topple Chiefs at, at the top of the table, because they are second place now. If they win, they will go top. Um, on Saturday afternoon, your thoughts on that, on that game? I, th I think it's, it's a good, you know, opportunity for Polokwane City, and also looking at the fact that uh, you know they bowed out of a uh, you know MT8. Now they have a chance, you know, to go on top of a log, which doesn't happen as often for for a team like Polokwane City. But they have started the league, you know, very well this campaign, and you know I believe you know coming up against Super Sport, you know, uh, it's going to be very difficult. But I think they have showed everybody, you know, that they are capable of getting a win on any given day, and you know I'll. It will be a very interesting game. Um, Sundowns, <laughs> who they will be reeling from the loss, uh, the Tuane Derby loss, and, and they they host uh, Marisbeck United later on, on, on Saturday um, evening. Uh, um, the news is that uh, Gen Jeremy Brocky will not play in this game, uh, who's on loan at Marisbeck United, but do you think they still have uh, enough fire firepower to beat uh, Marisbeck on Saturday evening? I, I, I think it, it, for, for Sundowns, by K, it will be, you know, uh, you know, the mindset of, you know, having to come back after such a disappointing, you know, loss to Super Sport United, you know, not making a cup final for a team like Sundowns is very disappointing, as we all know how ambitious the team is. Uh, uh, but again, you know, uh, we are coming up against, you know, a Marisbeck side, you know, which we also know that has been, has made, you know, a wonders, you know, in the last couple of seasons in the PSL. And I don't think it's going to be an easy game for Sundowns, even though we are, you know, uh, under pressure to win. Uh, I think Marisbeck will give him a run for your money and then it will be a very tough match for both sides. Okay, uh, later on Saturday as well, uh, on Saturday evening, uh, Rulani, who has just registered his first win for, for Paris, uh, is, is facing a bit of uh, down in Deben at Moses Mabida Stadium. What, your thoughts on that game? Uh, Another tough game uh, for Rulani, you know, especially looking at, you know, uh, how, you know, under pressure Pirates is, you know, uh, he got his first win, uh, kudos to him, uh, and, uh, you know, in five games Pirates has already, you know, um, uh, registered two wins in the league, and I think in look, going into this game, they will be definitely looking to, to make it uh, their second successive win of the season, but, I mean, Again, okay, we are coming up against you know a bit bit side, we, which we know very well that uh, they are one of the teams in the in the league who are gunning for the championship title, and you know it's going to be a very difficult one. Uh, but playing at Moses Mabida, you know, not really at the Bitva Stadium. I know it's, it's going to be very difficult at the Bitva Stadium, but at Moses Mabida, I think Paris will prevail this one. Paris will prevail. Then on Sunday we have uh, two games uh, taking place. Um, um, well, Cape Town City are uh, hosting Golden Arrows, and then, but then our focus is on the game between uh, uh, Barocca 
and uh, Highlands Park, uh, both teams come into this game on a high. You know, which one do you think is going to prevail? I mean, I think you know the morale at both you know the camps are very high. I mean, Baroka just came out of a very good win in the Limpopo derby against Black Leopards, and now you have a side uh, in Highlands Park who have just you know made history by getting into the making actually, you know, the final of the MTN8. So it's gonna be a very difficult one. But you know, I think this one, you know, Pake, I'll give it to 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 to, to Highlands Park. Look into the fact, you know, how 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 confident and how how happy they are at the moment. You know, I think you know when when a team and when players have confidence, you know, uh, they they get results so easily and I think they're gonna be more relaxed and I think they will get this result. Some quick predictions, uh, Sepan, uh, for the other games. Talent Bosch versus Black Leopards. I'll give it to, to Black Leopards. Chippa United versus uh, Provan SLT. Uh, Chippa for new coach. I think they will. I think they will win. <laughs> <laughs> the, play, the, the players will be wanting to make the new coach, you know, very happy, and they will be want to looking to perform at the atmosphere. So I'll give it to to Chief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then lastly, uh, Cape Town City versus uh, Golden Arrows. Uh, that one I'll have to give it to Cape Town City because, you know, Benny McCarthy was very upset uh, during the last game, you know, he wants his boys to play the uh, best football but, and, you know, in the last couple of games they haven't really shown that and I think, you know, after uh, his talk with the players, they will be looking to bounce back to winning ways. Interesting predictions there by um, Tsepana, uh, but uh, as usual, you can also make your own predictions or uh, you can have your own comments uh, on our social media platforms. Uh, on Twitter, we're at Pagati. On Facebook, it's Pagati. Until next time, enjoy the beautiful game.